Monitoring glucose levels is very crucial in critically ill patients and a serious risk factor in sepsis. Abnormal blood glucose concentration is related to mortality. Hyperglycemia is a common response to an acute illness, while hypoglycemia, both spontaneous and the iatrogenic type, is not so often seen in critical conditions. Hello and welcome to Medical Dialogues, your daily dose of health and medical news. I am Dr. Nandita Mohan and I am going to talk about this rare condition of hypoglycemia in critically ill patients. Hyperglycemia is a common response to an acute illness but it is not often. The frequency and the cause of hypoglycemia in septic patients have not yet been elucidated. A retrospective review of 265 patients in the journal Acute Medicine and Surgery assessed the patients with sepsis who were admitted to a tertiary medical center. The blood glucose levels on admission were evaluated. The study, which focused on sepsis-associated hypoglycemia in the early phase and also evaluated the impact of hypoglycemia on mortality. The researchers categorized the patients with sepsis into five groups according to their blood glucose levels. Seven patients were admitted with severe hypoglycemia, 19 with mild case, 103 with euglycemia, 58 with mild hyperglycemia and 78 with hyperglycemia. There was a significant difference in the 28-day mortality between those with severe hypoglycemia and euglycemia. Hence, the researchers concluded that septic patients with severe hypoglycemia had significantly higher mortality compared with patients with euglycemia. That's all for today. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for latest updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe and press the bell icon.